everybody, this is Praxis, and it's really starting to feel like spring here. If you look over to your right, just behind the house where the roof was shedding its snow, you can still see there's a little bit of a pile of snow over there, but otherwise everything's melting off and it's feeling really nice out. Uh, what I'm working on right now is uh, getting ready to put the exterior uh, sheathing boards over the outside surface of this structure. It's been okay for the winter. Uh, you know, we had the roof on top, so it was shedding snow, but having the UV exposure and just, you know, wet wetness and stuff, weathering these boards, it's not good, and you don't want that to go too long. Plus, it looks hideous. I'm not going to leave it this way. I want to finish the thing up. Uh, but before I can put on the wall boards, which are actually underneath this pile here, I'm trying to keep them as dry as I can, uh, so that, you know, when I want to put the seal on, they're dry and ready to accept the seal. It's actually going to be exactly the same boards as we have on the house. They're going to be over here using exactly the same seal so it'll all match, which is uh, uncharacteristic of me. Usually I kind of hodgepodge whatever, but this one I kind of thought out in advance. I'm like, yeah, I'd, love, I'd love the two to match. So the roofs look similar and the, uh, the wall boards are going to look similar. But before I can do any of that stuff, you know, get these guys painted and put them up and all that, uh, there's a step I need to do beforehand and it involves these guys. Uh, we're going to put electricity in the shed, so when you walk in here, there'll be a little electric switch, so you can turn on lights. There's going to be a light on either end, so there'll be a light over your head when you come in, and then one on the firewall. This uh, shed is being used for you know, storage of different things, and if you have a one-point light source, it creates a lot of shadows. So if you have you know one light at either end of the shed, it tends to fill it in more, make it uh, you know just easier to see what you're doing. Um, so. Uh, what that means is I need one box for the light switch. I need two boxes for the um, uh, the two lights because uh, we're going to be wiring the lights into these boxes. And then I'm going to need two boxes for uh, electrical outlets. I want to put one electrical outlet on this wall and one electrical outlet on the firewall. If uh, I hadn't already loaded the place full of stuff, you know, I, I probably would put two electrical outlets midway in the walls. Uh, you know just on the sides, but uh, I'm not doing that for two reasons. One uh, is that there's already stuff in there, there's shelves in there, and you can't really get at the that wall to put the electrical box in. And the second reason is um, I'm always going to have shelves there, and there's going to be stuff on those shelves, and even if you put an electrical outlet there, you kind of wouldn't really be able to have good access to it. Although now that I'm speaking out loud about it, what if I want to charge batteries in here? Maybe I want to have batteries on the shelf, like battery chargers, Maybe I'd want to have something plug in. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. But uh, what I need to do is before I can put on any of the wall boards, I need to do the electrical wiring because if you guys recall the way we do the house, uh, the boxes are on the inside and the wiring punctures out through the foam and runs along the outside underneath the exterior board. So I need to get the wiring up before I can do those exterior boards. So that's what I'm working on today. I don't know. I'm probably going to end up putting in that extra outlet because that would be kind of nice. You know, you're charging batteries. There's an outlet right there. Maybe I'll put it elevated up. I'll, ah. So many decisions. When you do this kind of stuff, it's like, you gotta think about, like, what am I gonna be doing in 10 years? That's why options are good. Keep your options open. That's it. Thanks for watching.